It's game day for Microsoft at the E3 Gaming Conference. This is What's News at this hour on WSJ Live. I'm Jason Bellini. Three weeks after unveiling its Xbox One video game console, Microsoft is showing off the games that take advantage of the system's upgraded motion sensor and higher fidelity. A packed audience on day one of E3 in Los Angeles got a sneak peek at Electronic Arts Fantasy War game Battlefield 4 and Respawn Entertainment's Titanfall. Xbox One is launching in November for $499 in the U.S. Sony is also presenting features of its new PlayStation 4, including its ability to upload gameplay sequences. The U.K.'s foreign minister is trying to keep the controversy surrounding data collection by U.S. intelligence from spreading across the pond. William Hague told Parliament that suggestions in the British media that British intelligence tapped into data from the U.S.'s so-called PRISM program is false. This follows newspaper reports that the government communications headquarters circumvented domestic laws about gathering information on UK individuals. The new New American Airlines is taking shape. The corporation has unveiled its post-merger management team. Five U.S. Airways executives will be part of the new team working under Doug Parker. He's the current U.S. Airways chief who's slated to take that same position at the combined carrier. The two companies also named the new 12-member board of directors. AMR expects to close the deal this fall, making it the world's largest airline by traffic. We'll keep you posted on all the latest news developments throughout the day on What's News on WSJ Live.